Hello everybody, I'm Remy Lou, and today I'm going to be revealing some embarrassing <laughs> stories. Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Some people think just being a mermaid is embarrassing. It's unfortunate, but true. Especially when it comes to mermen. A lot of their families are embarrassed when they do it in front of them. Now, I don't think it's embarrassing to be a mermaid, but I've had some occasions where there were awkward situations. Some of which pertaining to being a professional mermaid, and some of them just happened to be with me doing mermaid photography. In public. The first embarrassing story I have is when I was doing a mermaid gig and it seemed like everything was going wrong. The kids were doubting that I was a real mermaid. They were trying to call me out and get me to trip up in their questions. It was pretty sad, and but a moment of horror, and I talk about this more in depth in another mermaid video, which I will link right here, called Professional Mermaid Horror Stories. Check it out. Fun collab. And now I will tell you what happened. Don't even want to think about it, but the kids saw me walking to my car with my tail and I was mortified and sad because I knew the magic was ruined. They were pointing and laughing and saying, I just wanted to cry. The worst part, that's right. The worst part is that I was trying to leave the backyard and I couldn't figure out how to open the gate so I'm standing there with my tail trying to open this gate kids right over there because I didn't realize they were still in view and I was just trapped there trying to get out and finally I got out and yeah I left with my tail between my legs the second embarrassing story is when I was on a road trip and I had stopped at a little park to relax I had been driving a lot I was tired needed a little break and I wanted to do some mermaid things it was like golden hours and it was right off of the water and it was beautiful and there weren't a whole lot of people there so I was like okay I can do this it was kind of like a boardwalk kind of park I decided to start taking some pictures on a bench and some couple walked by with their dog and I was like oh this probably looks weird <laughs> And then I laughed, and then the dog was barking at me, and I was like, well, this is awkward. I'm, and then I took my tail off, and I was like, I'm sorry for scaring your dog. Not, not fun. And then another time, actually, this has probably happened multiple times, but you're, first of all, it's nerve-wracking enough putting on a mermaid tail in public. It takes some real guts to do it. It's awkward enough having to do that. And having to just try to not care about other people's opinions but then you have to do the awkward mermaid scoot into the ocean and sometimes the ocean is like i'm just gonna and so you're trying to scoot and then the water's like ah, and you scoot and then the water's like ah, and then you're falling over and flopping everywhere it's no bueno you just feel silly you're having a hard time swimming because the waves are so strong you get out into the deeper water and the ocean is just throwing you around like this does not look graceful or nice or pretty or magical it just looks sad so i'm sure all mermaids can relate to that by the way check out my video about ocean safety tips to prevent situations like that from going haywire so that's all i'm going to tell you about today i hope these stories made you cringe <laughs> let me know your embarrassing stories when it comes to mermaiding i've been getting a lot of weird comments lately from people like what the heck just all kinds of comments uh, so yeah if you love internet drama and you, you like fighting trolls check out my my youtube shorts my lumberjack video short i use the hashtags lumberjack and of course that's gonna attract tough woodsy men and and not silly merfolk people <laughs> that was my bad but i'm not gonna focus on all of those stories because there's so much fun and magic involved when you do mermaiding and I don't care if people judge me and if embarrassing things happen in life you just gotta laugh at it <laughs> and remember that it's just a moment in your, it's a very small moment in your life so it's not worth dwelling on anyway thanks for watching 
please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications when I post new Silly Mermaid content. Woo! And have a magical day. Bye-bye.